Hi, Kipsters. Happy Thursday. I love Twizzlers because they're so fun to share and you can share them with a lot of people. But you have to be really careful how you split the Twizzlers between you and your friends so that everyone gets fair pieces. How do you think that you would share that Twizzler on that screen? Today, we will be comparing halves and fourths and see which pieces are bigger. If you look on the screen, you can see halves, a pizza cut into halves, and a pizza cut into quarters. Remember, in order for us to have half of something, we need to cut it into two equal size pieces, like you see right there in the halves. And in order to cut a pizza into quarters, I should have four equal size pieces, like you see there. You see that all of those four pieces are cut equally, they are the same size. I have two friends who were arguing yesterday who had the most pizza. I have Max who cut his pizza in half and you can see his peas right there. Then I had Bob cut his pizza into quarters and you can see the piece that he got. Whose piece is larger? Hmm because I'm noticing that even though when I cut the pizza into quarters, I get more pieces, I see that Max, his piece is larger or bigger. So I think I would want one half of that yummy pizza because one half is larger than one quarter. Or another way we can say is one half is larger than one fourth. What if we had Sicilian pizza like yesterday? Remember, this pizza is rectangular shape. Do you think you would want one half of this yummy pizza or one quarter of this pizza? So right now, think in your brain or you can even draw it out. Do you think that you would want one half of this pizza or one quarter or a fourth of this pizza? Which one is it? slice do you want? The quarter of a pizza or half of a pizza? All right, Kipsters, so I think I would want that half of the pizza because if I look at the quarter pizza, that's so much smaller and I want the largest piece. So if I wanted to get the largest piece, I would cut my pizza in half. And now I'm thinking, what if I wanted the most pieces? How would I cut my pizza? Hmm. I think I would have cut my pizza into quarters because then I would get four pieces. If I only cut my pizza in half, I would just get two pieces. Let's see if we can figure out these problems about halves and quarters. Listen carefully. It says label the shaded part, so that's the dark gray part, of each picture as one half of the shape or one quarter of the shape. So we look at the circle where it says A. Hmm, so this is cut into four pieces. So this is cut into quarters, and the shaded gray part represents one quarter. If we look at letter B, this pizza is cut into two equal pieces, it's cut in half. And that gray part, again, is half of that pizza. Now let's answer the questions about these shapes. Which shape has been, has been cut into more equal parts? Which one has more equal parts? Hmm, which one do you think it is? It's letter A. This one has four pieces, which is bigger than just two pieces like letter B shows us. Now, which shape has larger equal parts? Hmm, let's look at the shapes carefully. I'm noticing letter B, those parts are way bigger than letter A. So that means a B has the larger equal parts. Which shape has smaller equal parts? Oh, that's definitely A. It has smaller pieces. So this shape has A, has smaller equal parts. Now let's look at number two. I see letter A. What do you think it's been cut into? Into halves or quarters? Yep, it's been cut into halves because it has two pieces. That means letter B is cut into quarters. So which shape has been cut into more equal parts, letter A or letter B? Hmm, 
Letter B, it has way more pieces. It has four pieces. And letter A only has two pieces. So letter B has more equal parts. Now, next to the next question, which shape has larger equal parts? Think about it, which one has larger equal parts? Letter A, it has larger equal parts. Now let's look at that bottom question. Which shape has smaller equal parts? Look at the shapes carefully. Which one has smaller parts? Letter B, it has smaller parts. All right, Kipsers, give yourself a pat on the back because you've been doing so well and I think you've got halves and quarters down. Let's see if we can complete this extra ticket together. It says number one, label the shaded part of each picture as one half of the shape or one quarter of the shape. So let's look at letter A. Do you think that this shaded part, which is the darker gray one, is a quarter of this shape or is it a half of this shape? Hmm, is it a quarter or a half? It's a quarter of this shape because if we look at letter A, I see one, two, three, four, four pieces, which means we have quarters or a fourth. So we can say that the dark little gray box here is a quarter of that shape. If I look at letter B, is this a quarter of that shape or is it half of the shape? Let's see, I see one part, two. It's cut into two equal pieces and we know that means half. So this darker gray part is cut in half. Now let's see if we can answer the question. So be ready. It says which picture, either A or B, has been cut into more equal parts? Does A have more than B? Or does B have more equal parts? I think it's A. A has four parts, so it has the most equal parts. Now, which picture has larger equal parts? Look at the parts carefully. Which one or which shape is larger? Hmm. I think letter B has larger equal parts. And last one, which picture has equal parts? Let's see. Ooh, definitely letter A has smaller equal parts. The parts are way smaller. You can go ahead and draw these shapes out and you can even label them with an arrow and the words halves or quarters so that you can show your teacher that you know what a quarter is and you know what a half is. So don't forget to show your work to your teacher. See you later.